Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello, welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. Right, another day, another reading. All right, I might even use some cheat sheets today, so uh, bear with me. Yeah, I'm still learning and uh, I want to get the most information out of each card, so uh, I'm going to kind of go back to my notes a little bit and do this with you. Um, so that's what's going on today. And um, I'm feeling fresh. I'm feeling clean. <laughs> Got up, took a shower, brushed my teeth, um, plucked my eyebrows, painted my nails what i know it's crazy um <laughs> did it all for you guys um <laughs> doing it for myself doing it to feel good for myself and to look good for you right to feel good so anyway um it's kind of just bringing in energy of new beginnings and um just feeling good so i did set up uh my one who seeks banner which is made like a flag but it really is a banner for your wall um it's just white on the other side so um we got that up for for blocking some of the mess back there <laughs> right so this is the the unseen the mess that happens behind the scenes <clears throat> it's getting covered up um and it's it's representing right one who seeks intuitive tarot that's my girl right it's right here in your heart okay so we are gonna do the crazy brain spread because i feel like i've been super crazy brained lately but i've had so many different things i'm trying to learn all at one time uh it's making my head a little lame. Um, so I felt like this was uh, a good spread to do today. And this is from Soulful Revolution, the MJ. And, um, so this is when your print, your brain just won't shut up about something. This is a great spread. Again, just use it once and let it go. Okay. So whatever is going on in your mind, use it once and let it go. Okay. Get rid of that craziness. All right, woo! My heart is like, I'm excited, I'm excited to be here. Uh, Got all set up. It takes a lot of energy to get set up here uh, and look presentable for you. I haven't, uh, I had a job <clears throat> over two years, like somewhere I need to go, some sort of routine. I mean, my routine's just been running errands and trying to rebuild here and getting permits and all that fun stuff. Um, but that's kind of a, a scattered routine. And 44 on the clock there. I psychic ability trust your intuition Ooh, I don't want to jump out there claw be careful do not take risk okay let's just pull this spread out for a minute okay we're just kind of setting up what we're talking about here Trust your intuition. Do not take risks, huh? All right, and that's <clears throat> a 
lot of what I'm going through right now too. It's trying to decide, um, you know, what business should I pursue? Should I work for somebody else? Should I just have my own business and have all the liability, um, and all the risk, right? Or would it be better for me to just work for somebody else and I have a pretty set schedule, a pretty set pay, um, or do I take the risk and, you know, I get paid when I get paid. If I'm working for myself, I don't have a team, it's just me. How does that work out, right? I don't want to uh, burn the candle at both ends, so to speak. Okay, let's go on to this side here. Ooh, these guys wanted to pop out. We got flute, disappointment in a friend or a lover. The sun, happiness, and well-being. Okay, eye, claw, flute, sun. I feel like clawing your eyes out. You can't see because you're looking at the sun. The flute kind of reminds me of, um, like, woo, the Pied Piper, right? Um... Uh, like taming the snake. Um, putting somebody in a trance so that they can't think correctly. And this could even be this friend or this lover here, right? Well, that is literally the flute. So somebody has got you blinded they're hiding something from you in the background that you don't know about. And you're kind of dying a little bit here. You see that these flowers look wilted, like they're hunched over. I found that it's a beautiful vase though. It looks almost antique or like, uh, those European blue and white plates. Um, or maybe you're doing some traveling or you have some sort of an antique from, I'm, I'm hearing grandparents, right? This is like family heirloom. And this claw looks really interesting to me because it's not a normal type of claw. This almost looks man-made, like a shank. Um, made out of like, I keep seeing a plunger, like a toilet plunger here. But it's got these weird little fucking toenails coming off of them. Something about the shitter. Flushing something down the drain to the septic. You're seeing something though, you feel it, and you're kind of suspicious about what's going on here. Okay, and then we have the sun, which is opposite, I feel of what's kind of going on here. This feels like very kind of negative energy, but we got the sun over here. Let's see what else we got. We got wealth. And we have fly, a period of ill health and depression. Wow. Right, and I feel like this kind of comes with your claw here. About taking risks and it's it's got you bundled up over here and you're not really quite sure what's going on like what is it you need to take care of yourself you need to slow down a little bit take a sip of the nectar it makes me think of honey you know and um, when you have ailments like allergies you usually want to um, get your local honey, 
get some local honey, make a, a tea with it, or, you know, just take a, a teaspoon of it and eat it. Um, but I do see the sun and the wealth here, so maybe we can figure out what's going on a little more. Astro Star Codes, Astro Oracle. All right. I want to thank the uh, spirits and source for being here with us to guide us through this collective reading today. Um, I invite in only good energy, loving feelings, or your best good and for the good of others. I thank you all for being here with me. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so now. All right, spirit. What do we need to know about this crazy brain? What is going on in our brains right now? We're all over the place. Um, I feel like we're really untrusting of someone and it's making us ill. Debilitated discomfort. So you're kind of stepping out of your comfort zone here. This is a five. This is about changes. We're stepping out of our comfort zone. This is kind of a, like a maze of stairs that goes up, but it is leveling up. Right. It looks like the staircase even kind of goes behind the wall here where you can't really see it anymore. There is more than what meets the eye. There's something going on with um, some sort of disappointment here. But using your psychic ability, your psychic ability and trusting your intuition, you know that there's more up here based off of the knowledge that you already know about the world, right? Unless this, this is like the Winchester Mystery House. Um, debilitated. I feel like you're frozen, like. You have so many feelings going on all at once that you don't even know how to express yourself. You've been debilitated from moving forward from whatever this disappointment is that's making you feel ill. Solar flares activate. It looks like um, you need to speak up. You need to say something. It looks like there's some microphones here. And a lot of vibration of color going on, making me feel like that's the energy moving through. Right, that's just everything right up in here, your chakras. And you're pushing it up, it's coming up and it needs to come out. We have the sun here as well. So activate. You need to do something. There's something that you need to take action on. Right, let's do one more here. And solar calm, clarify. <laughs> so, I mean, both of these cards really look very um, crazy brained, right? There's a lot going on there. There's a lot of uh, ideas being sparked and coming alive and creating a ripple into the universe, into the world. You do need to calm down, right? Clarify. 
what is going on? I have so much room over here. Okay, so. Wow. I can't believe how far this is going over. It's like so much space. Okay. So let me kind of rearrange this a little here. Got all my little decks. Okay. Wow, look how much room I have. Look. So much room. I'm way over here where I'm not even expecting to be able to see my cards at all. And it has, uh, there's a message there for someone about there's, there's more room here to move around. I feel like you just are feeling a little trapped, a little stuck, kind of in this like devil energy where you feel like you can't move forward. Okay, I'm drawing, I'm called to be, draw one more here. Uh, kind of even this out. Okay, we're trying to get a balance. Opposition, confrontation. Hmm. So there's gonna be some sort of confrontation and I feel like it's with this friend or lover over here. Maybe they are not really on board with you taking some sort of a risk. But you're trying to take a chance on yourself. And so you're, you're bucking heads here. And that's an eight. So I feel like that's kind of the um, infinity of a, a continuous uh, a thought pattern or um, like a limited belief that just keeps continuing. All right, my dog's calling me at the door. Be right back. All right. We're back. We're sunbathing outside. Yeah, sounds like we're a little overheated. Right? Drink some water. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. I want to find out. Um, so this is the character oracle here. Who this other person is? <clears throat> uh, that's this disappointment, this friend or the lover who is causing you some depression and ill health. Swindler. Wow. Be careful. Master of deception, hypocrisy, disguise, conspiracy. You feel like everybody is out to get you. Or this one particular person is out to get you. I don't want to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. Woo. So good. Get that out. Ah, little demons. It's taking over. All right. She runs away every time I sneeze. Uh, it's funny. Because when my husband sneezes, she doesn't run away. It's just me. All right. And player. Holy shit. Shit. Somebody might be like cheating on you. This could be your significant other. Um, yeah, you've got discomfort, clarify, activate, confrontation, making you ill and depressed, follow your intuition. There's risky business going on here, and it's affecting your happiness and your well being. Social light of charm, elegance, expert of romance, leisurely time. Oh, sorry. Wow. 
Interesting, I read time there. Leisurely life. So something about timing is definitely significant. Um, your leisurely time, right? And then it says leisurely life. I read it as time. There's something for someone there. It's a message. Maybe the time is now to figure out more about that timing. Wow. So somebody's really got you looking at something else, right? We're talking about hiding things behind things. Oh, uh, you know, my little wall here. Um, somebody's hiding something from you. And they are charming you. They are charming you with this flute. They're playing your music. And you're just following them because this music has got you in a trance. Mm -mm. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. What's the crystal ball have to say? No. No, 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 no. I do not want this energy here. This is a no. You gotta set your boundaries with this person for your own health and happiness. Listen to your intuition again. Eyeball. Oh my God, I can't even pick this up. <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. I like it. Uh, I always want to do my makeup, but I don't. I'm like totally against makeup. I, I love the little cat eye swoop. Um. Yeah, you definitely need to listen to your intuition. You're seeing something that you can't really believe. But you know it. You know it intuitively. But your mind, your crazy brain, is making you not believe it. Hmm. I don't know if this person is... Um, Cheating on you, um, doing something sneaky. You're going in the right direction. Okay. So how are you feeling about the situation? Are you working on yourself? Um, are you doing things differently to change the way you are doing something? to uh, maybe push this person out naturally. Mm -hmm. And let go. Interesting because this is the crazy brain spread where it literally says, let go, right? And then we have, let go. The butterfly transformation my monarch butterfly earring right and it's interesting because we have the moon here kind of crowning the owl here and then as we go through these cards, it kind of turns around and you can see the swirling of it from it moving, it's shifting, right? Into this full moon, you're releasing something. You're gonna let it go. Whatever this disappointment is, you're gonna let it go in one way or another. I mean, this is getting rid of somebody, letting them go. Uh, maybe this is just getting rid of the the discomfort itself in letting it go. All right, we're gonna put 
find a little bit more out about this. Okay. Wow. Definitely button heads with somebody. Is not bringing forth their best self. They're trying to play you in some kind of way. All right, so we have the magician. All right, so this is gonna be this card over here. So let's put these guys over here. I never know where to put my cards exactly so I can still get my spread in. Um, okay, so there's the magician. This is what you think is happening, all right? Um, somebody is blowing smoke your way, um, making empty promises here. There, there's a promise that there is something tangible here, yet it is only a silhouette of what it was. Like somebody has taken something from you because that did pass through that smoke. The tangible item and did item did pass through. It was there. But this person here is holding on to it. They're blowing smoke up your ass. They're making promises that they're just not gonna keep. They're keeping you in this la la land. You know, uh, you take mushrooms, it's a psychedelic. It makes you see and hear things that aren't necessarily there. It's an energy. Someone is playing a trick on you. All right, so I did say I wanted to kind of play with my notes here. Um, the magician is the master manifester, is a leader, is a powerful communicator, energetic spark, usually single, and then in reverse, it's manipulative and deceptive, right? This, that's exactly the energy. It didn't come out reversed, or I don't really do reversals, so. <clears throat> um. This is also saying to become a leader, to manifest something, to communicate something, to recharge an energetic spark. Maybe you're single, but I really feel like this is somebody, this is a uh, family member, somebody you love, like your husband or wife, uh, significant other, you know, which is also a friend. All right, so you definitely need to communicate, <clears throat> excuse me, communicate something which doesn't want to come out. Okay. Um, what's actually happening? What is actually happening? I want to know what is going on. The King of Wands. <laughs> Interesting image. I feel like this is pretty much the magician too, right? This is like the jester who is juggling and balancing things on his nose and trying to show you tricks. Um to distract you from what's really going on behind him because he's got this big purple plush chair out in the middle of nowhere. It looks like Utah or Arizona. Um, he's trying to hide something. Still. parlor tricks, right? Maybe they're just trying to impress you and it's coming off 
in a very disappointing way. Like, oh, you're not going to give that to me, though? I thought you were going to give that to me. But no, that the whole point of it is to impress you with what I did in this smoke, right? But these are, these are mine. <laughs> I'm holding on to those. I'm not going to share that with you. Uh, I do see an eyeball in here, in this part of the smoke. It keeps staring at me, right? Which really reminds me of the eyeball here as well, right? I don't know if you can kind of see that together. You need um, two pieces of the puzzle to figure it out. To make it whole, you need the whole story. Okay, and then the King of Wands, let's go with the cheat sheet here. All right, um, I don't think that's gonna be here. Yeah, okay, so. Wands, that's the knight. King of Wands is fire, masculine, summer, Sag, Aries, Leo, creative, entrepreneur, takes action, passionate, and confident. Right, he does look very confident. Uh, like an entrepreneur would be, um, you know, street artists or entrepreneurs putting on a show for you. This is about taking action. What's actually happening right now? Okay. I feel like maybe this person is just, whoa, that one just wants to pop out. Just, um, really just wants to impress you, but it's coming off very arrogant. And it, it's making you clash heads with this person. All right, and then what is your guidance? This is your guidance. This is the Page of Swords. This is like uh, it developing. The page is like a teenager somebody who's not fully matured, right? Maybe their maturity is just, you know, they want to play with magic and they want to do tricks and they want to act a fool because they're just not mature enough yet. And they're coming off as this like swindler or player. I feel like this is a young person in their, their teens and that's not for everyone. Um, But there are messages here and you're going to learn something from this person. They have a message for you. Maybe not to put up with this shit, right? It's your lesson that you need to learn to bring back comfort. Uh, maybe you are arguing over some sort of like paperwork. This could be a map. This could be your building plans. This could be a diploma. This could be like a love letter. He's got all the hearts around here. And rabbits are about making love, right? They have a lot of babies and um, run around humping every every bit on every bunny, <laughs> making babies. Um. So maybe, yeah, I still feel like that's like a, a cheating aspect. Like there's a third party there and uh, you're getting cheated on and you feel it and you know it and you just need to make that decision of whether or not you want to stick around or do you want to just sit and watch the party tricks. The 
feel like it's time to move on. It's time to travel, figure out which way you want to go, right? You're going in the right direction. Listen to your intuition. Hmm. Okay, what do you need to know that's not being revealed yet? Okay, this is that hidden as aspect here. Um, what is, is being hidden behind this curtain? The Four of Cups. Depression. I feel like you're looking for a cheerleader. maybe not getting it. So what's not being revealed to you yet is that there is this trophy back here, right? You are making the right decision. Even though you had to get rid of these other cups here, you're making the right decision because this one cup is worth more than these three put together, right? We're talking about the eyeballs and the sum of their parts and bringing it into one whole thing. Um, these three cups here, they don't serve you. You know, they might have been given to you by this other person, but they're not serving you. This could be their emotions, right? You're dealing with a lot of their emotions uh, but really, you just need to deal with your own and not be so worried about theirs. They need to take care of themselves. You know, I feel like even like this person is such a player, a swindler, maybe there's three other women or men. This other person is blinking. I mean, like it's a player, like a real player, a pimp. Um... Somebody who charms you, right? Who puts you in a trance and makes you feel like, oh, they're the best. But they're really not. They, they have very limited um, capacity to give you what you want because they're only after themselves and what they want. And that's usually having to do with sex and pleasure for themselves, but not for anybody else. Hmm. You know, there's definitely a lot of emotion here. This is that crazy brain, rocky ocean, crashing up against the rocks. Right? Exploding. Letting all that emotion, that energy of the emotion, do its thing let it dissipate that energy, that explosive energy, right? Because if you try to keep that contained, that's going to cause you harm because it is so explosive. I really feel like you do need to speak up about something and say like, Hey, I see your tricks here. I'm not buying that shit anymore. And then once you do that, you win this trophy. Like that's when the sun comes out. That's when the wolf appears. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Definitely have some decisions to be making, but, um, you know, it looks like it's about to rain over here. You better get going before that rain hits and floods you out and floods you out because you're going to feel stuck. Don't worry about these cups. 
you have something coming to you that's going to bring you joy and happiness. And it's not this person. Maybe it's just your own self-worth. <clears throat> Getting away from this person so that you can feel something inside again. You've been so numb. You're not taking any risks, right? You're just kind of standing still because you're depressed. You don't feel good. You're kind of like, I don't know if I trust this shit. It's trying to take some action to get out of this discomfort though. But you, I feel like you're going to get the clarity that you need. And it is going to be a confrontation for sure. Because this person is going to try to charm you and uh you know hypocrisy right kind of like a narcissist it's gonna make you feel like you're the one causing all the pain they're not doing anything there's conspiracy against this right and i did say something about your leisurely time even though it says life here something about timing Maybe you need to be a little bit more quick about this. Like bunnies are quick. <laughs> but this turtle, <laughs> this turtle cow thing is slow. They're quick because they are the magician. They are the gesture. They are the ones playing the trick, right? So they gotta do things really quickly sleight of hand grab something you didn't even see that right i mean you totally saw that but <laughs> you don't even notice that it's happening because it's happening so quickly and you feel like you're slow to catch on but you know in your heart that there's something going on that's weird you know dolphins are very charming too also be very rapey I hear but they're very smart I feel like they're you know once again offering something maybe that's not really there right with this items in the smoke yeah they're there this person's holding on to it, right? Yeah, it's there, but this person has it. There could be some jealousy here. Somebody has something that you want or you have something that somebody wants. And so they're gonna cause you a lot of pain. We have solar here twice, solar calm and solar flames. And then we have the sun. So something about burning it away. Illuminating it, bringing it to light, setting it on fire. And you might even kick somebody out and light all their clothes on fire. I don't know. I don't know how crazy you are. Um, <laughs> you know, some people do that. You know, you, there's a lot of emotions going on there. And, uh, you know, it's once again like that fogginess, that blindness, that meditative, just going to follow it kind of feeling. I think you need to open your eyes. So you can get out of this hecticness. There's a lot of lines and stuff going on, like a lot of craziness here. Let it go. Up in smoke. All right. Well, that's all that I am feeling from this. I hope that you got the information that you were looking for. 
And if you did, please share, like, and subscribe to others who might have an interest in um, listening to my tarot reading. Okay. And thank you for being here. I thank the angels for being here always and guiding us and having me be a clear and open path for your highest good and for the good of others. Okay. I love you. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.